Hey everybody, Carl Schuch here from Snorkel.tv and I'm thrilled to announce my first friendly AS3 code challenge. Alright, um, I'm going to show you what you need to do. You need to make this and do this, alright, to be a little bit more clear. Um, this is what I'm calling my Ferris wheel challenge, alright, where we have this arm that's spinning around and the bucket always stays level. Um, I was messing around with this effect the other day and I saw this first arm spinning around and then all of a sudden people started falling out and it was horrible. So we don't want that. So what you need to do is make an arm spin and keep the bucket level. All right. And I'm going to be giving you a little starter file here called Ferris Wheel Start. And it's already going to have this arm spinning around. And all you need to do is make it so that that child bucket clip stays level and we don't have ah, a tragedy on our hands. So this file here already has some code in it. We'll select this layer here, go to the actions frame, and it's just a basic enter frame that says increase the rotation of the arm. So what I need you guys to do is edit this file and put in some code, some mathematical whiz bang stuff that's going to make that bucket stay level. All right. I sweated over this trying to figure it out, drawing angles on graph paper and all this nonsense and reading trigonometry tutorials. And through a little trial and error, I came across something that was so simple, it's absolutely bordering on ridiculous. So I want to see what you guys come up as solutions. And it's not about the most beautiful code, the most readable code, the most efficient code. Um, I just want to see what you guys come up with and see a few different ways of doing it. All right. Um, to win, all you have to do is submit an entry that works. All right. There's going to be no, oh, I think this is nicer than that. Whatever. If you submit something and it works, you're eligible to win a Club Green Sock membership. The rules, though, are no third party libraries, no box 2D or any of that stuff. And I think that's the only rule. Yeah, keep it simple. Just something I can slam onto frame one. So you just give me a simple FLA back that works, and you can email that to carl at snorkel.tv. I'll have some more info in the comments below. If you need to uh, refresh yourself on what it is that you will win, you can go to my site and click on this banner anywhere, and it talks about what the Really Green Club Green Sock membership is, and we have a video there. And if you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube, you're always eligible to win one of these memberships as long as I have some left. And uh, this month, though, I'm making it special where if you complete this challenge, just do it. Uh, you're eligible to win randomly from a small pool of contestants. All right, I think I got everything out. Uh, just to show you as a little bonus, while I was working on this, I took it a little bit further and I came up with this guy where I had multiple arms and all this stuff and I came up with a horrible solution this first time around. So I'm really interested to see what you guys come up with and ultimately I'd like to test in a larger solution here to see how well things run. But right now, just get one arm spinning with one bucket staying level and you're eligible to win. And you can tell your friends that you won the first snorkel.tv AS3 code challenge. What's better than that? All right, guys, I'll catch you soon.